Thank you. I want to end uh, with Mr. McTeague, who's my cousin, so I just want to put that on the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. um, I, 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 I sort of wonder, though, um, you described the IPCC as extremists, correct? I describe their conclusions uh, when we take one versus the several that may be out there, that we tend to look at the most extreme and use that as a basis for public policy. Well, okay, very wise. okay, but you did, no, you, called them, you, you called them groups like the IPCC. So that's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. I know that was it is, created, uh, Mr. Kangas, I know, yes. that was created by the World Meteorological Organization in the United Nations, which you had described the report as a anti-fossil fuel alarmism. I bring that up because I actually wonder why you're here, Mr. McTagg. I don't see any expertise in just transition, but in climate change denial, you can't be beat. Uh, I have you on Twitter saying, many Canadians are clinging to the false narrative of a climate emergency. Nothing to see here, Canadians. Just the bitter harvest of our climate alarmist appeasement. Uh, appeasement strikes me as amazing. Then you go on to say from another blog, and uh, you kind of alluded to it here, that the science of climate change is Point anything but settled, and yeah, we are not, nor should we should anticipate a crisis. Just a second, Mr. Angus, I've stopped the clock. Point of order, you've called. I, I just think it's quite uncalled for for him to... Not at uh, all. For, for my honourable <laughs> colleague to attack the, one of the witnesses on the panel in a personal way, I... I, I just don't think there's any place for that book. We all come at this from different perspectives. Is that a, is that yeah. a debate? Uh, no, it's come not on. a debate. Anyway, We've heard point. Right. And, and, and as I've said before, I tend to give a fair bit of latitude to our uh, members, uh, but we will um, also afford the witnesses an opportunity to, uh, to respond. Okay. And uh, there's a minute and 13 seconds left on this round, so <laughs> I'll uh, turn it back to you, Mr. Angus, and I'll start well, the thank clock. Thank you. I'm, I, I was actually not surprised that the Conservatives intervened because... Their whole position here has been to deny climate science, and so they've got a guy whose Twitter feed is full of ridiculing uh, the crisis, calling it woke capitalism. Um, the fact that he's claiming that there is no science on this is ridiculous. I mean, it's something that'll go well with the Conservatives. So I was actually trying to figure out where Mr. McTee gets his science from, uh, and he says that people are waking up. He says, je les Jean in France. The Yellow Vesters. So I kind of remembered them, and so I looked them up. Okay, CNN says the Yellow Vesters are fanning the flames of anti-Semitism in France. ABC, the Yellow Vesters are dogged with intolerance and extremism. France 24, violence is seen as legitimate by the Yellow Vesters. So I want it on the record that the person that they brought here to represent their interests on affordability says the people that we need to be learning from are the extremists in France who believe that violence is okay, that science is ridiculous, and that the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is a, quote, group of extremists. Enough said. Thanks. I don't need any more time. Okay. No, you don't. You do not. You do need 